Hey guys, welcome back. Another Adventures with Disabilities. We wanted to show you that sometimes when I am not feeling well and I cannot get out due to my multiple sclerosis, we developed an idea for our house. And what we can do here is invite people over and they can enjoy and have a fun time with us while I just hang out and relax on the couch. So guys, sneak peek of what we're doing today. Come and roll along with us. Okay guys, come on. Hop in with us. Come roll along. We are going on a fantastic adventure to an arcade. If you couldn't tell by the title, we built an arcade in our basement. And here's some of the games. These guys are actually little dudes. You can play them on the couch. You can play them on the toilet if you want to. On the couch. On the toilet. All right, and we're going to also explain this. This is something we've kind of always wanted in our house. Um... Just never thought about it until just a couple years ago. This is a HO scale model train. We actually built it and put it up on this tray that is in the ceiling of our living room. You can see, I'll back up a little bit. And so what we've done is we've actually attached it to a little remote control. All right, now we're going to head downstairs to the actual arcade. Here's our Beatles poster. Angie's a huge Beatles fan. We'll just pan down to the downstairs and let's walk. So here at the bottom of the stairs, we've got our mannequin. We've named him Manny, last name Kin, and kind of weird, but there's a great backstory behind that. We bought him for Halloween one year so we could just dress him up and scare the kids. So he wears all different types of costumes and all sorts of weird things. And then here we got our gumball and bouncy ball machine. We bought this at a yard sale a couple years ago and I think we got it for like $35. Greatest thing ever is Facebook Marketplace or just local classified ads. You can find amazing things like this and just a couple things were broken on it. We refurbished them and turned out pretty great. All right, our downstairs arcade is 90% ADA accessible. We're just working on the chairs. So until we get an electric chair set up, this is how we do it right now. All right, and now we're just gonna enter the arcade itself. It gets a little loud in here, so we'll just kind of do a little walkthrough and then we'll explain everything after that.
All right, we'll I'm start out with the first thing that we got right here. This is our curtains that we had actually done. Um, we actually ordered this, I think, off of eBay and just put in information as to what we wanted on the curtains. And we put retro arcade, so that is a cassette tape. And then below that, if you can see it, that is a neon ice cream sign that we actually bought from a guy who used to own a deli. And he went out of business and was selling it and lo and behold we picked it up for a pretty good price. So. Alright, so here's one that I kind of Frankenstein together. We bought a empty cabinet. I went to uh, the Namco Ridge Racer, as you can see right there. And then I just bought a steering wheel for gaming and we've actually got a PlayStation 2 in there and I just kind of custom fabbed it together got the pedals down there and we made our favorite game or at least one of my favorite games which is Crazy Taxi if anyone's ever played that one but it's pretty awesome pretty good game from the 90s if you're a 90s kid or 80s kid like me and go on to the next one which is NBA Jam and this is the one that started it all for us. We actually bought this when we lived in an apartment. And the little is a one bedroom apartment. We had no room for this thing. But it was being sold by a church in Salt Lake City, Utah. And they initially wanted, I think, $250 for it. It's the four player one. And when we got there to go take a look at it, the, actually the cord out of the back of it was pulled out of the back to where it couldn't. Just, you couldn't plug the thing in. So they actually offered it to us for 50 bucks, and we took it. And it's kind of a theme with a lot of these games is we've bought a lot of them broken, and we've just kind of learned as we've gone just to fix them up. Just kind of YouTube video it and figure out how to wire things and learn how to fix things. All right, next we got Jason Voorhees. He's actually one of our favorite characters from horror movies. We're not really big into horror movies, but we like we love Halloween. We just really like this guy. So he protects the uh, arcade, essentially. And he voted, which we're proud of him for doing. We're going to show Angie now. She's going to show something pretty awesome. Hey, guys. Uh, if I don't see my normal self, Got a lot of joint pains, so that's what I'm dealing with right now. Uh, I'm going to show you something really cool that we got for the Game Room Arcade. Whoa! Check it out. It looks like old Nintendo cartridges. Yeah, there's quite a few uh, of them. Yeah, there's like... Hey, anyone remember Excite Bike? I freaking love Excite Bike. Uh, Super Mario 3. Uh, Zelda. You guys love Zelda? I love Zelda. I used to play that all the time. As, ooh, my babe. Duck Hunt. Anyways, we got those coasters just to add some cool effect. Over here, you will notice our lovely phone. If you are from this time frame, you will know exactly what this phone does. If you're not, figure it out. I'm just kidding, guys. It's a pay phone. Fun fact, it weighs like 100 pounds. Oh. We never knew they weighed that much until we actually bought it and tried yeah. to lift the thing. Payphones are heavy. We bought it at a yard sale for really cheap. And we thought it would be just a fun retro addition to the game room. You will notice... Uh, you'll notice the bar that I am propped up against. If I can... Find pictures of it before it got remodeled. It was a disaster. It stunk like dirty feet in closets and it had 
old school buttons on it, like Elvis Presley style era, um, weird maroon pleather on the front. Right. And it had these weird but it, it looked like a sofa seat, but it was the part of the bar. It was really weird. So we got some really good like countertop paint and just painted over this with countertop paint. Added some doodads down here that Jason found. He mastermind constructed it all, put it all together. Yeah, this paint is actually really cool. It has actually like ground up stone in it, so it gives it a stone-like look. This is actually wood that this was painted on. And then we got some metal sheeting at the local hardware store. Added that in, and then we added this bar right here, because you know, you gotta have a bar. Add a bar. And we got some LED strip, and I put the LED strip in there. So it's remote control LED strip. Go back here, and geez, again, the Beatles. Can't ever miss that. Uh, yes, seriously, guys, if you are not a Beatles fan, we can hang out, but I'll turn you into a Beatles fan because they are the best. Yes. Old Beatles records, original, pretty cool. All right, we got a mini pool table. Just got that a couple of years ago. Don't play it as much as we thought we would, but it is still pretty cool. Uh, pan over here. Light switch. We got a Nintendo light switch. And lemonade. And popcorn sign. And the little hot dog dude. And uh, let's see. How's that song go? Let's go out to the lobby. Let's go out to the lobby. Yeah. Sold snack. Yeah, it's these people. Grab ourselves a snack. Intermission of the movie. Fun fact, all these cool things, these signs and stuff were found at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, with a discount code, y'all. Right. Pretty awesome. So, and then, yeah, I don't think I showed this. We got a little mini fridge back here. Fill it full of cold beverages when we have people over. It doesn't water. get as used as much as we thought it would. Fill it with water. <laughs> we always wanted a pop machine. And now that I have a disease and I'm not as able-bodied, water. We do water, guys. Sorry. That is... No Cavorcier? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Busta Rhymes? Come on now. This game is from 1994. Check that out, you guys. Old school game. One of Coming our favorites. At yeah, one of our faves. I don't get to play it ever because I never feel good, but it's fun watching everyone else play. Press buttons to change your view. Ooh. Car. High tech for 1994. Hold on, yeah. High tech, 94 high tech coming at ya. Wait, press those buttons again and let's see your view. Oh, Woo. I just killed a car. Oh, boom. That wasn't my attention. Oh man, I'm so bad at this. Gotta beat the train. I'm not gonna beat that train, I'm gonna get T-boned. Oh, I made it. And then if you're lucky, look. Women in bikinis. And then a shirtless guy. <laughs> Fun funny. fact, if you beat this game, you get to hang out with uh, Bill Clinton in a hot tub with some other women or something like that. It's been a while since we beat this game. Woo yeah, I think you're right, but it has been a long and time since I... And then the hot tub shoots in outer space or something. Pretty great. Pretty great, guys. Yep. There you go. Right, that's going to do it for part one of this series. 
stay tuned for part two tomorrow as we show the jukebox and other arcade games. Plus, the theater is coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Check us out tomorrow. Have a good one.